Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a compare and contrast of the Versace Crystal Noir Eau de Parfum versus the Eau de Toilette. So I recently did upload a video where I was talking to you about the Eau de Toilette and I really really liked it and a lot of people asked if I could do a compare and contrast between it and the Eau de Parfum and just for myself I really wanted to see which one I liked better. So I do have two bottles and today I'm going to be unboxing and sharing my thoughts on both of them with you. So if this is your first time on my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Alithia and on this channel we do talk mostly about perfume. So if that is your thing, please feel free to head on down and hit the subscribe button. Also make sure that your notification bell is turned on so you don't miss any of my uploads. And feel free to head on over and follow me on Instagram. I do share a lot of things on Instagram that I don't share on YouTube. And if you have either the Eau de Toilette or the Eau de Parfum of this perfume, let me know down below which one you prefer and why. And I think that'll help a lot of other people make their decision as well if they've been on the fence. And with that out of the way, let's get started in today's video. All right, guys. So I'm always out of breath when I sit down to start videos. I don't know why. And then I have to like remind myself to just like slow down my breathing. <laughs> so today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and comparison of the Versace Crystal Noir Eau de Parfum versus the Versace Crystal Noir Eau de Toilette. If you guys watch my channel, I just uploaded a video the other day and it was a huge haul and in that video I had a bottle of the Versace Crystal Noir Eau de Toilette and I liked it so much and my boyfriend liked it so much that I wanted to get the EDP and do a comparison and a lot of you guys told me on YouTube and on my Instagram that you would be really interested in a video like that. And I don't know about you guys, but I love um, unboxing videos with perfume. I rarely do them because I am so impatient when I get my perfumes. I want to open them as soon as possible and I usually don't wait to film. Um, but for me, hearing somebody remove cellophane from a bottle or a box of perfume is kind of like ASMR. I find it very relaxing and I just love, I love hearing and seeing the cellophane come off the box. Some people don't but hopefully you're okay with that because we're going to do that today. And this will be kind of a first impression, obviously, because it's been so long since I've smelled the Eau de Parfum. Um, so I won't be able to tell you today about longevity or anything like that, but I'll be able to give you my feelings about the scents themselves. And I'm so excited, you guys, because I have not smelled the Eau de Parfum uh, since I was in my mid-20s. It's been a few years since I've smelled it. So I'm super, super excited. And actually, this little 30 ml bottle I'm gonna give to my friend because I still have a partial upstairs that she gifted me. And I, I was gonna get a backup for myself and I still probably will, but I'm gonna give this to her because it's kind of funny. After I got it and then I told her how much I liked it, she kind of regretted letting it go immediately and then I told her it's okay I'll get you I'll get you a bottle to replace what you gifted me it's kind of strange but if you're addicted to perfumes then you probably understand that feeling you you let go of a perfume and then you see someone talk about it and you're like oh I should have kept it so anyways without too much further ado let's get into today's video let's just open them both at the same time and then I'll go through the spraying and the notes with you guys I'm really excited I just painted my nails, so I'm trying not to ruin my nails at the same time. Look at that bottle, <laughs> it's so cute. It's like the tiniest little bottle, oh my goodness. Maybe I don't wanna give this away. No, I'm just kidding, I'll give it to her. <laughs> I'm gonna close the box because I'm kinda OCD that way and I don't want the box open. I don't know why I like things to be so organized. Is that not the cutest bottle you've ever seen? All right, let's open this big guy. 50 ml, this one's a 50 ml. The one I have upstairs is a uh, 90 ml, but it's only a partial. Um, ooh, has a nice big cap on it. All right, and that is the, okay, not digging that bottle at all. Okay, so here are our two bottles, and this is the 30 ml bottle of the Eau de Toilette. So cute, you guys. Oh, I just love these bottles. Aren't they adorable? I love, like, the multifaceted caps on them. 
They just look so cute. This would be the perfect like purse spray, perfect purse spray size. I'm definitely getting another one of these. I will give this to my friend and I'm, I'm definitely getting another. That is adorable. I can't get over how like tiny and miniature and cute it is with its little, little cap. This one I don't like the look of so much. I think this one would be worth getting a 90 mil because to me it just looks kind of, can you see it? It looks kind of ridiculous that the cap is actually bigger than the bottle of juice. It just looks kind of strange. Um, I think this is the same size of, of cap as what's on the 90 mil. It just looks very off to me. I would not, I mean, whatever, it's fine, but I wouldn't like seeing that sitting on a tray. Like this is supposed to be a 50 mil and it looks like a 30 mil to me. So that one looks bigger than this one. It's strange, very strange. So let's focus on the Crystal Noir Eau de Toilette first. So the notes that you have in here are Violet, Black Fig, and Black Currant. In the middle you have Jasmine, Tuberose, and Frangipani. And in the base you have Sandalwood, Cashmere, and Vanilla, and Heliotrope. So I already talked about this one in my video the other day, but if you guys didn't watch that video, basically I really like this a lot more than I thought I was going to. And my boyfriend absolutely loves this one. So let me give it a spray on the tissue paper and then we'll go from there. Ooh, that's a, that was on there really good. Mmm, oh, it smells so nice, you guys. It really does smell so nice. And the bottle that I have upstairs is an older one because like I said, it was gifted to me by my friend. This one smells very fresh. It smells like a brand new bottle. Oh, I just love it. It has this coldness to it. It's also a little bit spicy. There's like a spiciness to it, especially on the paper. And I do get the fig actually, which is strange because I don't normally like fig. Fig is usually not a good note for me, but in here it works. I love this. I love this. <laughs> I have to get another, I have to get another one of these little babies for sure. So cute. This would be so good for um, traveling, you know? You could throw this in your overnight bag, your weekend bag, going on a trip. It's the perfect travel size. And I do get a little bit of sandalwood, which sometimes I don't love a ton of sandalwood, but again, in here it really works. I don't know why, but the notes that are in here, so they work so well together and they really don't smell at all like what I would expect them to smell like. It just smells totally different. I'm just obsessed, I love it. It's one of my new favorite perfumes, hands down. Okay, so that's our little eau de toilette. I'll maybe set this stuff aside and then let's get into the eau de parfum. I'm actually kind of nervous for the eau de parfum because I'm kind of, I don't want it to ruin the eau de toilette for me, but I'm also kind of excited because what if I love it? <laughs> okay, let's put the lid on. Okay, so here's our 50 ml of the eau de parfum and it looks so crazy to me. So yeah, anyways, the notes that are in here are pepper, ginger, and cardamom, coconut, gardenia, orange blossom, and peony, sandalwood, musk, and amber. Let's give this one a spray. I'm a little nervous because it's been a long time since I've smelled it and I don't usually like coconut in my perfumes. So let's go ahead and give it a spray. Oh, that one was much easier to take off. <laughs> Okay, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, it does smell quite different from the from the eau de toilette actually. Okay, it does smell very different. Not hugely different. I mean, you can tell that they're they're the same line. I'm gonna have to put that on my skin. That's very different. It definitely has uh, black pepper. I can I can smell the black pepper. Coconut a little bit, but it's not like super strong for me. It's not super prominent. It is quite spicy. Yeah, it's pretty spicy. Mm, interesting. This one's gonna have to go on my skin because I'm not loving the way it smells on paper. It still has that cold smell. It has this like cold, um, confident, cool, mysterious touch to it, but definitely more of a spicy coconut compared to the original. Oh. All right. So the eau de toilette, why don't I put that one on my hand? That'll be fine. And the eau de parfum, why don't I put that on my arm a little further up? Oh wait, just making sure there's nothing there. 
Okay, so I just put that on my arm and my hand and now I'm just gonna give it a moment to dry down and I'll just be right back in a couple minutes. All right, so it's been a couple of minutes since I sprayed and actually I ended up having to spray another spray of the Eau de Toilette because in comparison to the Eau de Parfum, it was just way too light and my nose was getting confused. So I have a couple sprays on my hand and one spray of the um, Eau de Parfum on my arm. And what I can say is my gut instinct my gut instinct tells me I think I like the scent of the Eau de Toilette better. On my skin, the Eau de Parfum definitely comes through a little bit more coconutty, a little bit more coconutty, a little bit more woody and deep. It's more peppery in the opening for sure. The Eau de Toilette is just this like beautiful, sexy, I can get the violet in there. It's not too spicy. I don't really get coconut, which is good because I'm not a coconut fan. It's a little bit more airy. It's a little bit more vibrant and bright and like, it's not so deep and dark, I guess. The Eau de Parfum is, yeah, the Eau de Parfum is a little bit more, I don't want to say masculine, but it's got that cardamom in there. It's a little bit more spicy. So this is very much my first impression, but I definitely prefer the Eau de Toilette over the Eau de Parfum. Just my first impression. Um, they do smell similar, but at the same time, they're they're very, very different. And the lasting power of the Eau de Toilette, I haven't really given it enough time to test it out in my like spare time, but I didn't find it to be weak by any means. I don't think I'm gonna have a problem with the, with the Eau de Toilette, but the Eau de Parfum is just, it's okay, but I'm not loving it. I don't think I like the cardamom, and the pepper and the coconut and then it does have kind of a strong gardenia component and it's quite woody like the amber in there is very very strong it almost reminds me a little bit of alien essence absolute that kind of strong woody amber that you have in the base whereas the eau de toilette which i also have on paper here yeah the eau de toilette is just it's a whole different thing it's it's a lot more vibrant airy sparkling light floral it's not quite so deep woody there is a little bit of sandalwood in here but there's none of that i don't think there's amber let me just double check yeah so i just went back to the notes on this one and there's no amber in here there's just this like smooth creamy sort of nutty component it's a little bit powdery um, it has that heliotrope in there which tends to give a little bit of an almondy powdery touch it has frangipani so you do get a little bit of a tropical quality but without it being coconut whereas the crystal noir has a bit of a tropical quality but that's because of the coconut I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to discount it immediately. I'll probably make it my scent of the day a few times just to see how I feel about it and I'll come back and update you guys, but it definitely is a little bit more, I don't know. I just going by my gut, I don't think I'm going to like the Eau de Parfum. This one is so much nicer in my opinion. So much nicer. Oh, I just, I just love it. Yeah. Even on my hand, there's something about it that I'm just loving. Strange because Again, I don't usually like fig, but for some reason the fig, the violet, the sandalwood, the florals, the florals are perfectly balanced. It's not like you have a strong certain note that sticks out. You have basically equal amounts of all of the flowers that are in here and it's just blended really nicely. Whereas in the Crystal Noir Eau de Parfum, you have that really strong gardenia coming through. In here, it's just like a lovely bouquet of flowers with this like creamy ice cold undertone to it. It's really strange and really beautiful. And I'm <laughs> yeah, I'm obsessed with it. Like you guys, yeah, I love I love the Eau de Toilette. The Eau de Parfum is not for me, I don't think. So yeah, that's my first impressions of this, you guys. Um, I hope that you liked this little unboxing. Let me know down below if you have tried either of these, what your preference is, and I'll definitely update you in the future, but I'm fairly certain that this one is gonna have to find a new home. I don't think I'm gonna really welcome it into my collection. This one, on the other hand, I definitely want a backup of. This one is gonna go to my friend. I'm gonna get myself a backup like today. It was really inexpensive. It was less than 50 Canadian dollars for this, you guys, on Fragrance Buy. So definitely check it out. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Mm -hmm.